go, hello, my name is uh, Frank Mendez, and I'm so glad that you've come and visiting and are visiting us at waterdistillers.com. So the boiling chamber is where all the bad stuff falls out of, all the air vapor, uh, water vaporizes and goes through the system to give you this pure water. But in the boiling chamber, scale and all the ugly things that you've been drinking, and I, I tell you what, people would really be astonished and people call over their neighbors and say, this is what we're not drinking, but you're drinking, you know. Uh, you're drinking and it stays and it, and it can encase that boiling chamber or the heating element. So you simply put in, uh, you can use chemicals or I encourage people to use natural things such as vinegar, uh, to put vinegar in the boiling chamber, which will, if you don't let a, a, a huge amount of buildup take place, then it dissolves uh, the, cal the calcium carbonate and other hard minerals uh, uh, along the heating element and along the side of the boiling chamber and you have a drain valve so it drains it. You just open the valve and you drain it on out. I tell people, say, well, so we have to do it every time we see it? No. Uh, when you see a certain amount building up on your heating element, then do it. Uh, then do it. Uh, and again, you can do it through natural cleaners like vinegar or, or you can use other chemicals which will work quicker on that uh, to remove it, uh, to remove it quicker. So it's basically just making sure that your boiling chamber is clean. Look into it after about three weeks, see what's in there, make sure the machine's off, see what the buildup is, and then clean it. Make a note of it, and then you'll, and then uh, do it again. And uh, inevitably, uh, like in mine, mine needs to be basically uh, cleaned once every uh, about six months. You could quickly, determine how often you need to, need to do that. So you just need a cleaner, you boil it, you flush it on out, and it's clean again. Well, I'll, de I'll determine where they're at, and I'll determine the most cost-effective way for them to do it. And what does that mean? That means I'll either have them ship it to us directly, because we fix and we, uh, we can fix any, any distiller that's on out there, or ship it to the factory uh, directly, which they, they will handle it uh, wherever they're at. But most commonly, uh, what I'll do is ask them what the problem is and troubleshoot the problem over the phone because after we hear certain things and we ask enough questions, we can determine what the problem is and, uh, and actually send them uh, those parts and then actually walk them through uh, the repair process. Some people don't want to deal, do that though themselves. They don't want to fix it or deal with it for whatever reason. Let me share this with you and, and I'll share it with you with, with a smile. But we have never ever not been able to explain to someone how to take care of a problem. So, so, so people can be confident that no matter where they're at, and we send many out of, outside the United States uh, out to other countries, uh, no matter where they're at, that uh, we'll be able to uh, share with them on the phone or uh, through uh, some form of communication, email, and, and to end resolve any sort of issues or maintenance issues, because it would be a matter of a maintenance on it, as I shared with you before. So thanks again for being here, and hopefully, uh, as we discuss, we have different questions, or as you email uh, me or correspond to me and our company, that we build a rapport and uh, and uh, come up with information that's valuable to you personally, uh, as well as others who you uh, who you know, and you can share that information with. So thanks again. My name is uh, Frank Mendez, and I'm so glad that you've come and visiting and are visiting us at Water Distillers.com.